All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So, you guys know uh, Ptolemaios, right? It's a very controversial card uh, here in the TCG, especially with Infinity coming out. It is banned in the OCG. So, this person decided to go ahead and create a fake card of Ptolemaios, an upgraded version of it. So, similar to how we're looking at Ptolemaios and being like, yeah, good, nice, uh, we can agree that a nice majority of the UK community is like, yeah, you know, level 4 and rank 4 shouldn't have access to Infinity. No, 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 no. Bam, Ptolemaios. You know, good majority of us are all in agreement like that. Let's go ahead and look at this Ptolemaios and see whether this card should be banned along with the current Ptolemaios. So this is Awakened Knight Ptolemaios. If he already wasn't awakened already by dropping that Infinity on you, he's, he's up now. He's up now. He is a rank 4 Warrior XC effect monster. Dark. Only 500 attack, but 2,500 defense. It is made with two or more level 4 monsters, so pretty much just like how the regular Ptolemaios is made. Let's go ahead and look at this effect. You, I know, you guys are already worried. <coughs> Excuse me. You can attach any number of its materials from this card. All monsters you currently control gain 500 attack for each uh, material attached until the end of this turn. That effect kind of, eh. You know, I could, I could possibly see you doing some damage with it. I mean, generally when you pull off the Ptolemaios, you want the best effect for the Detach 3, so uh, if you wanted to go ahead and choose to use his, uh, his effect to detach and gain attack, I mean, you know, get Detach 2, it's an uh, extra thousand for everybody, so it's not too terrible, but it's not too great either, so, uh, no, that's not that's not the broken one. Let's go ahead and look at the next effect, of course, because Ptolemaios got to have that Detach 3 effect to make it just Ptolemaios, right? So, you can attach three extreme materials from this card. First, summon one monster uh, from your extra deck whose rank is double this card, except for number of monsters, by using this face-up card you control as a key material. It is key material, key materials become attached, blah, 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 blah. You also not special summon monsters for the rest of the turn. You can only use one Awakened Knight Ptolemaios effect once per turn and only once that turn. So, uh, one thing that definitely stands out is that unlike the regular Ptolemaios, this one is only spell speed 1. So, uh, you know how you love to go ahead and just be like, alright, well I have Ptolemaios 3 material, D test 3, and then slap that Pleiades on during your turn. Like, no, no, no. It's only spell speed 1. You can only do this, this during your turn, and then you also cannot special the monster for the rest of the turn. But, in exchange, you get to go ahead and Put a monster, not a number, that's double this card's rank, of course, this monster being rank 4. So you get access to all non-number rank 8 monsters. And that is some power, I must say. That is some power. I mean, I, I it's kind of, kind of hard to argue. Is it like, oh, is it first turn infinity spam power? Eh, but there's some power. So let's go ahead and actually look at some of the monsters that you could possibly pull off. Just to name a couple. So... The first monster I think of, a non-number rank 8 monster that's really good and worth your time if this card really really existed. Um, my first thing that comes to my mind, Felgram. And, of course, you know Felgram. If you don't know Felgram, you haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh. Felgram is that card. He has definitely put a name for himself. And no, he is not a monster. You think, oh, is Felgram a number? I don't remember. Is he a number? I don't remember. No, he isn't. It's a Divine Dragon Knight Felgram. We just call him Felgram because, you know, at this point, he's actually earned his shortening. Now, when someone says, hey, you know, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make me a Felgram, uh, no one ever is talking about that freaking old uh, dragon and monster fell grand or even the new fell grand support no 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 no. when we say fell grand you know exactly who we're talking about so obviously he's popular enough uh he's not a number monster and just being able to go ahead and drop this guy in rank fours is some power i mean think about it just for, you know you, you know first turn infinity that's good first turn fell grand i mean that's also good i've, I've won plenty and pl i can't i can't even name how many duels i've won or one with my tag partner especially tago just because we dropped that first turn fell grand so, similar to how you go in with Ptolemaios with 3 materials, you T-dash 3, with this Awakened Knight, you could literally just go ahead and drop the Felgram. He would only have one extra material, but still, he's a 28 beater, you can attach extra material to target a face-up monster on the field. It's effects in a gate, so not only is it kind of like a during the player's turn kind of Phoenix chain thing, but also that card is unaffected by other card effects. You don't know how many times where I see someone playing like some kind of light deck, they summon their light monster, which is clearly weaker than my fell grant, and then try to attack in me, and I'm like, oh, an attack decoration, detach, fell grant effect, I'm gonna make your effect negated, but you're unaffected by the card effects, and then they drop that on us, and then they quit. So, as like I said, access to Felgram, rank four is having access to Felgram. Doesn't that sound like a, just a dream? This sounds great, right? All right. So that's one card. Next card, 
Uh, Thunder and Dragon. Yeah, Thunder and Dragon. Uh, simple card. It's not made that often. It's just because uh, what he's, um, his materials are. He's made with two level 8 normal monsters. Keep in mind, normal monsters. Two level 8s? I can do that. Normal monsters? Yeah. I'm not, I'm not playing blue at all in the damn time. So, yeah. Uh, Thunder and Dragon. Once per turn, you can attach one extra material from this card. Destroy all monsters on the field. Yes. Uh, he is pretty much a dark hole except for himself. Uh, we've seen that time and time again how powerful that is uh, Just to be able to go ahead and just wipe it. He's a 3,000 beater as well So yeah, you would totally have access to Thunder and Dragon as well uh, just by simply just going dropping uh, going to Ptolemyos and uh, uh, This will awaken Knight Ptolemyos, detaching three and then slapping this on top and detach the material and then wipe everything Wipe all the monsters in the field, but you know, it's not just enough to be able to go ahead and uh Dark hole the entire field except for this monster. Let's go ahead and look at the other side of things. Uh, yeah, do you guys remember DDD Duo Don King Kali Yuga? That is a mouthful, you know. And with how terrible I play DDDs, you should know. So, uh, yeah, the DDD Yuga. Yep, you can make him too. So, after this card is key summon, which I don't believe this is a counting key summon, but for the rest of this turn, other card effects, blah, blah, blah. We don't care about that effect. We care about the second effect. During either player's turn, you attach one extreme, uh, you can attach one extreme material from this card. Still spell and traps on the field. So yeah! So you have, you have one guy that's like a dark hole, a dark, you know, yeah, you can go into Thunder and he dark souls everything, so, dark holes everything, so, and, so, and then you can go into Yuga, not through the proper way of two level eight DD monsters, but just by simply just, you know, pseudo ranking up total mass effect up into this Yuga, and then heavy storm the field. Heavy Storm, that's banned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. 3,500 too. 3,500 beater. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So, uh, <laughs> that is definitely another thing you could do. And uh, I think this will be the last card I'm going to talk about. Uh, Coach King Giant Trainer. Yeah, it, pretty much you do this when you just have so much XC materials and you just want to get everything back. So, uh, he's made with three level 8 monsters. Pretty difficult to make, I must say. You, know, you can dash the sea material from this card, draw one card, and reveal it. If it was a monster, and flip 800 to your opponent. Uh, you cannot conduct your battle phase during the turn you activate its effect. You can only use uh, the effect of Coach King uh, Giant Trainer up to thrice. I know. What? Thrice? Thrice per turn. So three times. So pretty much, you go ahead and summon that Patolum, uh, the Patolum Mouse. And depending on how many sea materials and how in you want to go, you can simply just go ahead and detach three, put this giant trainer on and simply just detach your remaining city materials and draw cards so detach to draw so you literally even out on your place so that's just another thing you could do and uh then there's one more the the sylvan high protector so uh pretty much he uses the fact that, that if a card is sent from the deck to a graveyard by a card effect you can attach a material from this card target one card on the field and place it to the top or bottom of the deck so uh with the 32 booty so Pretty much, as long as you don't mind targeting, you can literally put a card at the top or bottom of the deck. And of course, we know put returning things back to the deck, best place you can send things. So, yeah, thanks to uh, Awaken Knight Ptolemyce, you would have access to all these beautiful rank 8 monsters, uh, dark holing, heavy storming, all of that good stuff. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think about this. I and mean, do you think that this guy was kind of crazy? Do you think that if this card X existed, would it be banned? Or do you think it would be like, no, that's fine. At least it's not, you know, first turn infinity. Uh, I said, because I said, we're pretty much all in agreement, or at least a good majority, I'd at least say 95% of the com uh, the TCG Yu-Gi-Oh! community is in agreement that Patoma should be banned, uh, similar to OCG, so, would this be a fine replacement? So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday, I will be back next Friday with another Fake Card to look at, uh, well, it's starting to get a little bit dry, so, uh, you know, I'm checking every day and making sure that what I present to you is at least somewhat entertaining. A lot of people are either not making a lot of cards as late or uh, just being really balanced, and balance is boring. We want some crazy stuff, so uh, I'll try to get you guys the craziness that you really want in this segment. So anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, see you guys next Friday.